Hey guys, guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Right there. It's Tuesday, 9.09, January 17th. I'm trying to think of a, something that happened on January 17th, but I can't, can't think of anything. My mom's birthday is in a couple of days, so that's cool. Anyways, I'm heading out. I'm going to be doing something a little different today, first thing. Always like to mix it up. I'm going to be changing out another mowing Posi Temp cartridge. Mm. Just need to make sure I have some. I've been burning through these things, man. eBay, $31. Pay attention. eBay, $31. I'm going to have to, you know, have a bell or something. When I ring the bell, you got to really pay attention. All right. Hey. This is what frustration looks like. Fucker. Son of a bitch. My neighbors are watching. Yeah, this thing sucks, man. Trying to impress that woman from Poland. She comes in, she says, you want me to hold something? And I thought, hmm, I could probably think of something. But I said no. Being the gentleman that I am. Hey guys, I'm gonna do a little product spotlight. Two elements, upper thermostat, lower thermostat, gaskets. Make sure you get the old gasket out and jam that new one in there, boys. Yeah. Nice to have on the truck. Nice and neat. And I, I say if you go into somebody's place and you're gonna, you know, if you got the time, sometimes time constraints are a real issue. You gotta get in there and get out. But if you got the time, fuck it. Put all that stuff in. The people will be happy. Tell them, you know, really you should change the anode too. But we don't want them heaters lasting forever. Hey, sorry, good morning, man. How you Mark, doing? Mark Tabor, sorry about that. I was vacuuming. Oh, that's okay. Hey, man, I got a YouTube channel. You mind if I videotape this? Not at all. You're okay. All right, bro. I'm all about that stuff, man. Oh, yeah? Cool stuff. All right, we're going to go right here. Yeah. So, yesterday, I was going to attempt it. And I, decided, I see you got some... I decided to myself. You got the whole toolbox out. Well, I'm a mechanic. Uh huh. I, I can do a lot of things that involve cars, but when it comes to plumbing and all that, I decided it that can be a, a, it can be a pain in the ass. That's for sure. That's out of the way for you. My apologies. So let's see what you got. All right. You said you're not getting hot water out of this? No hot water at all. So essentially, we would pull all it right. out, turn it to the left, and there'd be no hot water. Okay, so. This is not what I thought it was, okay. which isn't a problem, but I, I thought you had a posi temp valve because that's typically the one that does does that. Sure. Uh, so let me let me see. You didn't turn those shutoff valves, did you, in there? No, sorry, I didn't. Okay, because those things can be a pain. I figured. They, uh, yeah, here's a business card. Bro. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Where do you work, man? You do... Your own thing? So actually, I, I lifeguard for the county. Um, oh, nice. I'm, I'm on the beach every day, but. Wow. Um, That's a tough living. It's it's a lifestyle, to say the least. Good for um, you, brother. But, you know, had a motorcycle shop back in college and did a lot of different things. And I hate wrenching on stuff now, you know, as much as possible. You know, I spent, really? I only spent so much time doing it, you know. I, I Burnt I never, out on I never got to ride anymore. I never really got to do anything, so. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you know how to shut the water off to this whole unit? Yeah, we're going to be rich here. So I got hot water here. There should be, yeah, there should be a main shut off right there coming out of the wall. Let me see. That's weird. 
Is there a key after that? Yeah. Turn that off. Yep. <laughs> All right, so let's see if it's killed it. Should have. All right. All right, my friend. Get hot here. These are nice places in here, man. I like this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, so... We've got a situation where... He's worked on this. I can see that that hot valve is not open. All the way. And these are those little rubber... These integral stops are a pain because if you turn that a little bit, it will uh, spin the rubber inside. And the only way to get that fixed is that there's a little snap ring holding that in. Take the snap ring out. Try not to drop it down the wall because if you do that, you're screwed. Put something in there, some paper or something to catch it. Uh, pull that thing out take the rubber out clean it all up grease it stick it back in there put it back together make sure it's open make sure the rubber is in the right position where the the ports are open but uh we'll see actually you know <clears throat> first thing i need to do is figure out i gotta turn the water back on see what's going on here <laughs> I turned it back. Oh, turn on. Back on. I turned it on because I need to look at what's going on here and why it's not a typical problem. So I I recently saw my this is my grandmother's house that I bought. Uh -huh. uh, so no one's been like I don't even remember using the shower like Ever? very like very often. Okay. So I don't know if something's just crusted or something's just stuck or whatever. Well, it it's might probably be. definitely need a new carcass, but I'm going to get to the bottom of why it's only on the hot side. So. Sure. Uh, it, yeah, you need a new carcass. That's pretty good flow right there, brother. You cool with that? Because you said that there was no flow on the hot side, correct? Yeah, no flow. It, it would never get hot. Really? That's hot as shit. Is right? it really? Yeah. I mean, it's straight out of the pool. Yeah, this is correct, my okay. friend. You, you that's definitely that's need a new cartridge, though, because this thing's crusty. That's probably what it was when I put the handle out. Yeah. The, the handle was so like. I yeah, may have been broken. Yeah. That the handle was. was spinning. Well, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. All right. Let me let's turn that water back off again. Right. Just that one stop in the back. Hey, you got a bunch of shit here, brother. Uh, you were ready to change out the whole faucet. I was. I, I hear was. you. That would have been a big job, my friend. Would it? Oh, yeah. Big job for somebody who does it every day. Get in here. Looks like you got a little bit of a slow drain, too. Do you, when you're taking a shower, does the water build up in the tub? Like I said, I, 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 don't, I haven't you used just don't this know. tub in, in years. I get it. But that's exactly what the problem was then. The fucking handle was broken because it was a bitch and a half to get it even off. Mm -hmm. At that point. Man, I, I fucking left this box at a guy's house the other day. Yeah. And my my cart my cartridge pull is not in here. <laughs> he just like borrowed that fucker from me. You know what I'm saying? Well, I understand. Oh, I got I got another one. I've got twenty of every tool. All right, so it's a little different situation than I thought which isn't a problem i've got these cartridges it's just a 1225 and his issue with no hot water on the 
thing was due to the fact that the handle is broken. So we'll get this cartridge yanked out. And you know, I'll tell you guys, I used to I used to spin these things before I uh, tried to take them out. And I realized that that's an issue. That was causing me to, you know, buckle those gaskets. And one other little trick is, you see, I just ran the hot water and that little bit of heat softening things up and actually expanding this brass uh, helps in the process of getting this thing out. So, I mean, I, I know all this stuff. I don't do it all the time, but that's a good little trick. Run the hot water first. Now, see that thing, you know, I can see this copper in the wall. But you don't want to be yanking on this thing too much. When I get to this point where I'm pretty much bottomed out, what I'll do is I'll turn this nut back out and put my channies right on that cartridge, which you'll be able to see here in a second. So you can see the cartridge here and what I'm going to do is just grab that spin a little bit and pull and then like I always preach look at the gaskets and make sure you got everything which I do on that side and then this side it's complete so I've got the whole thing out I just need to clean this guy up. Just a three quarter inch cleaning brush, man, on a 1225. On a 1222, I use a, uh, what you would call it, a half inch too. A three quarter plus a half inch. Or if you got a one inch, you can use that. So I'm all the way down in the back. stuff using a regular head screwdriver stuff a rag in there and then just start turning and eventually that rag will spin cleaning all that shit out you can see inside here that it's nice and clean Spare little pocket putty, you know what I'm saying? Pocket pussy, yeah. Hey, sometimes it gets, you know, sometimes if you're in a drought, this shit works, man. B up. Oh. See how you can't push on that stem, guys. You gotta you gotta use this tool. I mean, it just works out better. Okay. 
So I've got the notch up that's in the right position. I'm going to go ahead and turn the water back on. Get a new handle for this thing. But I got new. Alright guys, so on a crystal handle, this little washer, it goes on. I've seen them where you take the take the uh, index button off, and this washer is underneath the head of the screw. That's not where it goes. The, this washer goes on the stem, and what it does is prevent the crystal handle from riding up over... Uh, the shoulders on that stem in there. I'm actually going to put a little bit of WD on that. Where it goes on that stem. Okay.
index button. Okay, so that's mine. That's mine. Get this, he's got a lot of faucets. He's got all kinds of stuff for coal in here. stuff out of the tub and check the shower head and make sure he doesn't need it. Uh, this seems pretty clean. He said it never got used so I'm sure that spot works. Stations are, are golden in these videos man. Or between, the, between the customer and uh, so tell me what happened. All right so this guy's that he's a <laughs> he's a lifeguard down on Siesta Beach which is one of the big nicest beaches in America voted number one many times. So what happened? So it was my first week ever and I just got done with all my training, all my EMT stuff and uh, everything to pass for the county. I uh, become official guard. Yeah. And we got a call from somebody in the south in the rocks area. Yeah. And there was a scuba diving accident. Well, I get out there, you know. I'm on the jet ski, uh -huh. I'm feeling good, you know, I'm house of all, like in Baywatch. You know, yeah, yeah. Wind blowing through my hair. <laughs> living the dream. I'm living the dream in my, in my first call. And I get out there to see the scuba diver impaled by a swordfish through the lower abdomen. Really? Really. And when, when I was there, you know, I'm, I'm from up north. I've never seen a swordfish in my life. Yeah, no, I'm like, shit. I'm like, like what? National Geographic. I'm like, what? I'm like, this is not on the training. This is not the textbook. What, yeah. what do I do? So, if I can tell the guy, I'll pray for you. Well, yeah. the crazy thing was, his friend, um, the scuba diver had a machete on him. Like, wow. Like a big knife. Yeah. Because when they do, most, most divers will carry a big knife. To oh, yeah, himself. yeah. And he cut the fish's head off because wow. it was stuck in his body. So I get out there, see a headless swordfish stuck through this dude, and um, wow, you know, got him back to shore, and, and that's, that's all I know. Wow. Hey man, I I got a story for <laughs> Siesta Key. I was dating a girl. She was a nurse, and uh, she worked in the emergency room at Sarasota Memorial. Yep. And these people, they were. Two twins walking down the beach, older women, walking north. A guy is walking south, and a fucking bolt of lightning comes down, nails both the sisters. Oh my gosh. And then jump from the, the second sister and uh, hit the guy. <clears throat> and she said that the fucking lightning bolts went right through all of them and came shot out their just blew them apart. Yeah. Fucking horrible story, man. Shit, where shit like that happens? That's yeah, like, man. It's but, crazy. But yeah, you the, never know, but, man. Out of nowhere, your fucking shit's over. But You're the done. Sword, but the swordfish, though, I mean, fuck, I, I, I can't make that shit up. I was, <laughs> I, was, I was like, there ain't no fucking way. Hey, I want to show you this guy's bite, man. This dude, he's cool, man. He's a man of my own heart. Look at this. This is living room. <laughs> And look at this guy over here, fucking couch potato. <laughs> fucking spuds. Yeah. Look at this, a Ducati, man. That's fucking, that's a screamer. Yep, Who drives that, you? Me, 950 uh, Super Sport. How fast does that guy go? 200. Two, you, have you been that fast? 185. Out at the track up there no, at the solar? This highway. Yow. Yeah. What is this? I uh, started its life out as a 1200 Sportster and it's built now to a 1400 with a big board kit. Wow, and you did all the work yourself? Yep. yep. 
nice bikes man Thank that you. one right there is a is gorgeous man my my uh my brother in law's into this shit. I think he's got like sixteen bikes in his garage and he's old. He's like seventy. But uh yeah. It's addictive, man. I sold mine. I saw too many guys laying in the road. And I was like, Yeah, I can't I was out one day in shorts and flip flops, a t shirt, no fucking helmet on. Right. And this lady comes out of nowhere. She absolutely <clears throat> did not see me. I mean, she's going to just flatten me. So I lock it up, and I'm sliding sideways, beeping the horn at the same time. And uh, she finally sees me, and she cuts the wheel, and she goes flying over this fucking six-foot-high berm oh, up yeah. into the parking lot of Sarasota Square Mall. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. But anyways, you're all set, brother. So I put a new handle on. Thank you. Talk the face plate. You got hot and cold. You're all good, my friend. All right, what's the, what's Thanks, the, man. What's the damage for you? Uh, it's 175. Okay. All right, give me some cash. That's cool. Okay. Huh. This thing is 30 years old, my friend. <laughs> Look at that shit. 30 year old Reamer. Twelve ninety two. Wow. Look, it's got the plastic valve on it. But that's not as bad as the other ones, those round ones. Alright, I'm gonna give the price for changing this out for them. Save them some money. I always put a see these plant pans. That's one of those very brittle pans back in 92. They just crack if you touch them. Hey, man, your water heater is 30 years old, buddy. Is it really? Yeah, so uh, I don't know if this drain is, if this pan actually is connected to a drain. But if this thing blows, you're going to have a major disaster on your hands. I'll replace this for you for 1100 bucks. Okay. And I'll see this valve. Mm-hmm. I'll put a new valve on it for you too, man. Okay. New shut off. Um, so if you need me, give me a call, man. Okay. So this kid, young kid, you know, good looking kid, fucking probably doing very well with the ladies. But he's, look at this car he owns, man. <laughs> Couple badass bikes in the, uh, in the house. I don't know what he's got in that fucking garage, but he said he bought that house off of his grandmother who bought it in 1993 and uh, She sold it to him for what she paid for it. in 1993 so he walked out of the closing and a uh, hundred thousand and uh, he walked out of the closing and had three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in fucking equity in his house. They're worth four fifty now. And uh, he said he's a, a a lifeguard, and they're actually part of the fire department down here now. And he said a lifeguard makes about seventy G's a year. Uh, and then he said he's a bartender at a real nice. Uh, new restaurant here in Sarasota. I've been there a few times. Good, good menu. Great food. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. He just told me, and I can never think of the name of it. But anyways, he's a bartender, and he said he makes more money bartending, so this kid's living the fucking dream, man. I mean, who, who doesn't love the smell of fucking... You know, unleaded fuel in your fucking living room and oil dripping into your carpet. It's just fucking... It just don't get no better than that. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to just post this one uh, this morning. And then uh, see what else we can get into. But right now, I'm going to get something to eat. And then I'm going to run over to look at this cabinet shop and see what they have to offer because I really all those fittings and stuff I took out of my truck 
they're in five gallon buckets in the back of my truck which makes my truck pretty hard to work out of I like to have a nice clean floor runway in there uh, so I need to get this shit straightened out if I have time today I'm gonna I'm gonna do a prototype on how to build these drawers make sure everything's nice and centered and and really utilizing all the space in the bin and then I can just change it you know basically it's just going to be widths uh, the height's going to be the same on all of them it's just a matter of trimming them up so that I can just slide them right through the door I'm not going to try to I need to be able to remove them you know what I mean if I ever get the inside of those bins painted or whatever I don't want to have to tear all my work apart I will um, they're going to be able to just slide in through the door so anyways I'm off to get something to eat man guess what time it is look at this man I just love my new clock man told this guy I'd be here at 10 o'clock I got here about quarter till and it's 25 past so I've got uh, 52 minutes in there if my math is correct anyways good quick job easy money and on to the next one boys with a little pit stop at a food joint have a great day thanks everybody for watching uh, thanks for the comments. I try to comment, you know, I try to respond to your comments. I appreciate, I've learned a lot, man. A lot of you guys, they're sh you're shedding light on stuff. Things that uh, you're helping me and I hope I'm helping you in the same way by putting it out there. But uh, I appreciate you guys and girls. I know I got my girl Woody Woodpecker I need to give her a shout out that was my old girlfriend back when I was a youngin I think she was 25 and I was 16 I could be off by a few years but man she was hot Ooh, smoking yeah and like I said I was a stud back then I perfected the art of quick sex this may be a little off the beaten path but just wanted to share that with you if you're out there and you know you're a little quick don't worry man you'll outgrow that just stay in there stay stay in there just keep working out eventually you'll get it yeah all right have a great day Hey guys, so I'm here at this, uh, so I got my, uh, my stuff loaded up. I've got enough shit for 10 drawers, uh, for less than I would pay for a little metal deal, uh, with only four drawers with no, no brackets or anything. What's up, guys? Hey, you don't mind me videotaping. Yeah, do. You do? I get it. He don't want me to videotape him, man. I could make a star out of you. I'm on a YouTube channel. Not having it? He ain't even talking, man. So that guy, he's not very friendly. High security, you know. Cabinet parts. Big black market item. He looks a little, uh, let's just say anti-government. Yeah. Maybe he was, uh, I didn't want to ask him, but I was going to say, hey, where the fuck were you on January 6th, man? <laughs> that could be the fucking issue. So when I go to a place like this, or any supply house I always ask hey man you got any damaged or defective shit and he's like yep we got a whole bunch of it even though he didn't want to be on camera $20 a sheet or something for uh, plywood cabinet grade plywood 
maybe a corner's beat up on it, you know, a chunk taken out of one corner. Uh, nothing I can't live with, but uh, that's where you can pick up some deals, guys. Don't ever be afraid to say, hey, man, I'm a junk collector. What do you got? He just wasn't uh, feeling me, man. He's old country boy. I said, hey, man got an issue with me being on camera and he just clammed up like a motherfucking seashell and uh, he went to sign language like he he gave me the old and I was like uh, does that mean you're gonna cut my throat or does that mean cut the filming anyways He is not as affable as I am. Look that word up. That's a good one. Congenial. You know. Uh, oh fuck, I think I just went through a red light. Um, trying to think of an other words that kind of describe me. Pain in the ass. My brain ain't working. I'm tired. Look at what we got here, boys. Old Steve Lab truck. I was gonna ask him if he wanted to run it. If he stopped here, but look at him go. I wonder if that's the same size. 